Rocket Pat here. All right, guys, let's get a little update on our 1954 Chevrolet Bel Air two door hardtop and see where I've got gone on this thing at this point. Uh, yeah, that looks pretty rough, don't it? That's like the dogs are barking there, but I got a plan. I got that cover. Uh, I got the interior, as you can see, out completely out of the car. Uh, got all the trim off of here and here's something kind of neat that I didn't know but the trim that goes up over here the holds the trim panel in place that's wood in 1954 they were still putting pieces of wood in a car how amazing is that so anyway we can see where my major rod is back here all the way back here to this right here this is where I'm gonna be tackling repair major repair this is the hard part for me this is gonna be fun this is gonna be the challenge getting all this back in line right properly but anyway that's what we're doing there uh, we're also doing a little other things uh, going on let me show you I don't know if y'all got dirt daubers where y'all live, but this is what a dirt dauber does. This is all dirt dauber. Building their little nest for the little next generation of dirt daubers to come. That's completely full from end to end with dirt dauber nests. One dauber was probably going in there for years. Who knows, man? I don't know how long them damn things live, but yeah, dirt daubers. They'll fill a hole or they'll make a hole. One way or the other, they're going to get holdy. All right, so this is what I'm really doing. I've been to the junkyard, and I've reclamated some parts from there. Uh, actually, what I did is I went over to my buddy Lee Schwinn, who gave me that car, and I raided a car that he's got sitting there, a 1973 Pontiac Formula 400 that's so rusted it's, it's, it's bad. So I got the brake booster off of it in the bracket, and I had to take the steering column off because I was after that part right there what that is is the brake pedal assembly for an automatic transmission and Lee didn't want the steering column so I kind of drag it home but what I got to do is I'm gonna take the pedal out what I got to get done now is I got to get this up inside there with these holes basically gonna be down here I'm gonna have to weld this up I already know that but the next thing I what it is is too long right now I've already test fitted it so I'm gonna go the next thing I'm gonna do is lob a little bit off of that and keep moving it forward until I can get it coming back and then I'm gonna figure out where I need to go and I am going to get disc brakes well not disc. well I'm gonna get disc brakes in the front yes uh, but I'm gonna get the master cylinder and the power booster out here in the firewall instead of on the floor so I can open up all that room down there. I got the shifter out of my way and eventually all that right there is coming out too. All that right there is going to come out and that way I can run my exhaust up through that way. Anyway, alright guys, that's what I'm doing. I'll give y'all an update once I get that brake pedal in there and we're rocking and rolling on that. Alright, y'all keep rocking and rolling and a rolling and a rocking and I'll keep grinding it down talk to y'all next time say goodbye Petey Doggy goodbye Petey Doggy Mr. Petey Dog what are you doing where are you going Petey Doggy alright talk to you later